approvals for a second round of boosters has many of you wondering if you need that extra dose. With COVID impacts trending down, but a new subvariant growing its presence, doctors say we really have to take different factors into account when it comes to that booster. WCNC Charlotte's Brianna Harper explains what you should be considering and what could be the next phase in this pandemic. The fight against COVID-19 lasting more than two years in county, but the progress does bring some hope. Novant Health says they're currently caring for about 50 COVID patients in the hospital across the system. Months ago, that number was several hundred. And statewide, we're seeing a similar trend with a weekly decrease of more than 270 patients hospitalized. But doctors say what hasn't changed is those in the hospital are almost always unvaccinated. Yet for those who have gotten the shot and are boosted, now some are considering another dose. While the FDA has approved the fourth dose for those ages 50 and older, my professional opinion is that the fourth dose is really most beneficial for much older patients over the age of 65 and those with significant chronic medical conditions. Another debate is whether an extra vaccine dose might cause immune system exhaustion. That's an online theory that a person's immune cells might wear down or not function as well with multiple vaccine exposures. But doctors aren't convinced. There's really no evidence that a booster spaced four months apart would exhaust anyone's immune system. And finally, researchers are also taking a closer look at how personal immunity might play a part in fighting the virus too. If you've had COVID, I would consider that as having had one dose of vaccine. Right now, BA2 is the most dominant form of COVID across North Carolina, accounting for about 55% of cases as seen in the orange shading of this graph. Doctors say although the BA2 variant is 30 to 50% more contagious than Omicron, the cases don't seem to be any more severe. We're hopeful that this will run its course without major disruptions, but I think we have to be prepared uh, to be able to pull levers and change things if we need to. And weeks ago, we reported how federal funding issues could potentially impact access and availability to COVID tests and vaccines. Now, doctors at Novant Health tell us their supply of vaccines is still good, and they're continuing to encourage everyone who has not yet gotten the shot to do so just as soon as possible. Brianna Harper, WCNC, Charlotte.